If you're a foodie like me, then today is your favorite day because it's National Bagel Day. Let's go. We're in New York City and this 14 degree weather is not going to stop us. Sam, what do we have in store? We got a party bus and we're gonna take this bagel bus to three of the best shops in New York City to figure out which one is worth it. Our first stop, Baz Bagel. I love Baz Bagel, I can't wait to see. Let's do this, let's go. All right, we're at Baz Bagel in Soho. This is our first stop. This is a signature New York bagel shop. They've been in Soho for eight years, opened up by Barry Masakio, who is a fantastic person in the food industry. She's been doing this for a long time, and, uh, and it shows. I love Baz bagels. Through one of my bagel ratings, I think Baz is probably right up there as the highest. It's unique, they're really warm and friendly. I'm super excited about this. I know everyone is gonna love Baz. Their signature is a pumpernickel everything bagel. They do it better than anybody in the city, and they also have really awesome rainbow bagels as well. Baz Bagel, let's go. Let's go. We got their signature pumpernickel everything. We got a rainbow bagel. We got locks. Scale of one to 10, what do you give Baz? 8.9. 9.2. Oh, wow, she's going high, 9.2. I'm gonna give this place an 8.5. One of my favorites. Can't go too high though, because you never know what's next. What's the best bagel? The next bagel. Here we are at our second location, and it's still cold. We have Black Seed Bagels in the East Village. Now, Black Seed Bagels is a New York-Montreal hybrid. They've integrated some techniques from Montreal bagels into the New York baking process. That means that they honey boil them and bake them in wood-fired ovens. Now, Black Seed is known for some of the most creative sandwiches and best collaborations in New York City. One of those collaborations, the pizza bagel. This place is amazing. Let's go check it out. Let's go. What do you like better, poppy or rye bagels? I need a poppy named rye baby. Oh my God! Black seed bagels and we gotta go around and get everybody's opinions. An 8.2. It was good, but it was like a little drier. 6.5. Wow. Ooh. Cool. Damn. For one, the music was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. You know I'm a New York guy. Let's go Knicks! Let's go Knicks! We're here, we had Montreal bagels, Brooklyn. We're at Greenberg's Bagels. Sam, what's the wrap on Greenberg's? So Greenberg's is a rising star in the bagel world. They're only two years old, but they've already got some of the best press in the city. And that's because of their bagels, but mostly their sandwiches. They have some amazing and creative sandwiches, and I can't wait to dig in. We got some crazy combos today. We're gonna hit it hard. Let's do it, can't wait. What a day. We went to three of the top bagel places in all of New York and Brooklyn and the front of the bus, we're at Tide right now. Four for Black Seed, or excuse me, none for Black Seed. <laughs> no!
God, please, no! Four for Greenbergs and four for Baz. So let's, I guess we're gonna be the tiebreakers here. So what do you think? Uh, I think I'd give it a 7.2. Oh. Five for Baz, four for Greenbergs. What do you think? I would give it a 7.5. All right, Baz is pulling ahead. What do you think, Evelyn? Um, so I definitely like the sandwiches. The Greenberg bagels are better. The one that was avocado, hash brown, and the hot honey. Phenomenal. But being a purist, I definitely like the bagel with the pumpernickel. What was it? No, the rye with, not poppy rye. The poppy rye. You like black seed? No, the other, no, it was the one Baz. 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 Pumpernickel. All right, so ba Baz is pulling away seven to four. So I guess it's up to me. Right? No, it's yeah. not up to you. It's already declared. It's up to it's Baz. <laughs> I loved Greenberg's. Um, I like the aesthetic of the shop. I like the the feel of the neighborhood. It's very, you know, friendly and just down the earth kind of bagel shop. Great name, Greenberg's. Um, I love fusion bagels. Like the sandwiches they had were amazing. The hash browns, the, What's, the, what's the, your boy, your ex-boyfriend's favorite? Oh, Shashuka? the Shashuka bagel. Like I've never had that before. <laughs> Sorry to bring that up, sore spot. <laughs> You know what, I think like, like I feel like, I feel like they're a visionary over at Greenberg's. Like I think that's like the future of how bagels are gonna be, like coming up with these really creative sandwiches. Um, I give it um, a 7.5 uh, just because, you know, I, it was the end of the day, I was already pretty full. I kind of had to force myself. I really wanna come back when I'm like focused on Greenberg's. Um, although I really did like it a lot. But guys, sorry Brooklynites, Manhattan, Bass Bagels, let's go! <laughs> National Bagel Day lived up to all the hype. What a day. We got a party bus, we visited three of the top bagel shops. I couldn't have enjoyed it any better. This was a smashing success. Our first New York City bagel tour definitely won't be our last. And huge congratulations to the winner of today's competition, Bass Bagels, cleaned up, I would say it was almost a consensus favorite. It was, it, they're the clear winner, but I think everyone loved the different varieties that each shot brought to the table. Uh, lots of bagels. I probably had like eight bagels. I'm so full. So full. But it was amazing. And I like, my bagel palette is that more seasoned. I really know what I want. We I tried at least a dozen different types of bagels and sandwiches today. An experience unlike any that you're gonna get in New York City. I had a great time, Ryan. Uh, I feel like we're bagel experts and there's just more bagel fun facts and foodie info to come. Way more to come. Happy National Bagel Day. Happy National Bagel Day. See you at the next video. See you next time.